Hi everyone, this is Chris from A Bar Above, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to review a few different types of uh, mixing glasses, so stay tuned. So our restaurant has actually been using mixing glasses for the last two years or so and we've had a lot of experience with them. We actually have been using the Uri mixing glasses um, and we haven't had a lot of good things to say about them. Um, first of all, they are beautiful. They're very gorgeous and you know these are kind of the gold standard of cocktail bars these days. You'll see them all over San Francisco, New York. Um, and they're, they're quite stunning and you know seeing a cocktail prepared in them is, is really a nice treat. But they all have kind of the same flaw, and that is they don't handle temperature change very well. Um, we've actually gone through probably about 10 to 12 of these mixing glasses until I finally decided to start taking a look at some other options out there. Um, they're not cheap either. This URI mixing glass, I believe, was about $35 to $45. And it, they can last anywhere from two uses to a few months. And, some people have actually had a lot of success with them, but uh, for me, it, it just it's too big of a variable and too much money to throw away every time I have to buy one of these. So they also make a, um, a different kind of URI mixing glass, um, and URI is a reference to this pattern that's cut into the glass. Um, they also make a seamless URI mixing glass, and unfortunately, they've kind of had the same fate as this particular URI mixing glass. That is, they're very brittle, they don't handle the temperature change very well, and they just shatter. Um, so I'm kind of steered clear away from the, um, the Cocktail Kingdom ones, um, you know, the, the URI and the Seamless URI for those reasons. Now, over the last year or so, I've actually bought quite a few different mixing glasses just to test out the durability on them and really try to find something that is both visually appealing and functional for our bars. Um, so Cocktail Kingdom also has another producer called Takuro, and uh, those are the ones I've had a lot of success with. Um, they make a couple different patterns. They actually make a uh, URI pattern and a seamless URI pattern as well. And all of their glasses that I've tested have really held up well. Um, I believe it's probably a different composite in the glass itself. Um, but they are extremely durable. And they're beautiful um, presentation pieces as well. Um, and when I first got my, my, uh, my first URI Takuto mixing glass, I put it through a pretty rigorous stress test. Um, I filled it full of ice, I filled it full of water, and I st essentially stirred it for about two to three minutes to really get um, the temperature down as low as I can get it within the actual glass itself. And then um, from that point on, I threw it, I dumped out all the contents and put it directly into a dishwasher that runs about 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and I ran that for about three times for the same exact reason to really put as much temperature into the glass as possible. Now, if I did that with a regular mixing glass, a Uri mixing glass, the thing would have just shattered immediately. I might not have even got through the first cycle, and it would have probably been in pieces. Um, but the Takuto line definitely held up, and I'm still using almost all of them from in my original order um, about a year ago. Now, they make a couple different designs. Um, they make, like I said, the Uri design. They have another one called Asanaho, um, and it's another beautiful cut design into the glass. And they also have one called the Paddle design, which is a little bit more um, kind of old school. It kind of has a straight linear lines up and down. It's a beautiful piece as well. Um, they also make them in different sizes. So usually the smaller ones are about 500 to 550 milliliters, and they also make an extra large version of them. And those uh, can get up to about 800 milliliters. And with that, you can do quite a few cocktails at the same time. Um, I've tried it with about three to four different cocktails, and um, it'll hold the volume really well. Now, the one thing I would say about the extra large uh, mixing glasses is that I have kind of small hands. I'm, I'm a smaller guy. I'm about five foot seven, and I have a real hard time essentially palming the entire thing to pour out the contents. And it's kind of a problem, especially if the exterior of it is wet and um, it becomes extremely slippery. Um, so I tend not to use the larger ones. I tend to build most of my cocktails into smaller ones just because it's easier for me um, to pour. So if you're, you know, if you're a bigger guy or a bigger woman, your hands can get around that kind of area. You know, it's, it's definitely another great option to have is to have the, the larger one there for you. Um, 
so that, that's the review on the Takuto line. Um, they're great, they handle the, you know, the job well, and they definitely will hold up to the stress of the job. Uh, the only problem I've had with the Takuto lines of mixing glasses is I think you know, within the first week, one of my mixing glasses actually broke right at the nose here. But you know, five out of six I'm still using now. So it's, um, they're great glasses. Now I've also done one other glass, and that is the, the stem mixing glass. It's another really beautiful uh, mixing glass. The problem with it for me is just it's kind of awkward and bulky, and you know you can use the base of it to kind of hold down as you're mixing and kind of separate your body temperature from you know the actual cocktail temperature itself, which is really really a nice thing. Um, but for me, you know, the, the glass itself is just a little too large and a little too cumbersome for me to use efficiently behind a bar. Not only that, but I, I personally prefer the straight wall design on the, um, the Urize and the Takuto line of mixing glasses. I get a better stir out of it and, um, you know, the, when I'm stirring, I can, actually, I can actually make it, you know, fairly quiet and I have a harder time doing that with the, um, the slanted sidewalls on a stem mixing glass. But it's a very functional piece. I've done the same stress test with that, and it's held up really well. So if that's more along your style, then um, I can definitely recommend that one as well. So, um, but that's it. That's uh, my review on mixing glasses. Um, so for me, I would stick with the Takuto line. I would stay away from the Cocktail Kingdom Ura mixing glasses for the moment until they figure out any kind of production issues they're having with the actual glass. But uh, I'll have some more um, equipment review for you in the future. But until then, have a great shift and cheers. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Google+, or visit us at abarabove.com.